I definitely see that there, there, there will come a day when drawings are no longer part of the deliverable. Um, I, I think it's sooner rather than later. Uh, it's going to be kind of dependent on uh, certain owners who are pushing the envelope uh, and making the, their whole AEC supply chain feel a bit safer about it, um, as well as their own kind of uh, their own internal controls related to deliverables. Um, it's not tomorrow. Uh, and most likely what will happen is there will be a period for the next five years where you have parallel deliverables, where you have the traditional paper-based contractual deliverables, plus uh, the new ones, uh, which will be digital and be able to integrate it with the systems they have. Um, and then eventually, as they have sorted that out, they'll realize there's no longer a need to have the traditional paper deliverables, and they'll find ways of phasing it out. I don't know when. I think in the next decade, though. I would hope. Anyway. I think the future of BIM, uh, generally speaking, is going to be uh, that we'll see the, the industry work in more aligned with how other industries use data management. Uh, so you're going to have more normalized data, you're going to have uh, better data mining and analytics opportunities, uh, and that's going to extend to uh, smart buildings. Uh, obviously IBM is pushing the concept of smart planets, but we're going to have smarter buildings. Um, and uh, the ability to, to mine data in the way that large organizations are doing it with uh, big data. Um, and everyone along the line will be capturing information as it's created and providing opportunities for the owners of that data to, uh, uh, to review it and share it with all the different stakeholders.